Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Azim Ahmad Mahibul and I just want to get a review of my new laptop HP ProBook 450 Core i3 processor. Here is the laptop. You have seen that uh, it has got uh, a very uh, glossy finish on the top and here is the logo not very easy to see but here it is it's HP logo uh, first of all I want to give some uh, descriptions about the hardware of this device in the front you are seeing there is nothing uh, just a uh, indication of uh, power button and here is nothing here is another thing is the memory card slot and uh, under the right side here is a DVD port. Yes, look at this. This is a DVD port and it can be right as well. There is a two USB port, one microphone and one headphone jack. On the back there is absolutely nothing. On the very left, on the very left you have seen that there is a a cooling fan around here as a charger port and uh, there is a VGA port and uh, with VGA there is uh, uh, another two micro USB 3.0 port HDMI and internet LAN port so this is the hardware this is the hardware of this device now open a bit uh, the most interesting and most important and uh, most uh, things that I like about this is it is can be opened without any pressure up to the bottom I mean here you should not give any pressure it can come off easily so here it is the keyboard it's a very glossy and uh, very interesting and beautiful keyboard uh, here is the num lock this is a 15.6 inch uh, HD LED monitor uh, here we have our webcam with uh, webcam with the noise cancellation here is the indication of HD webcam and uh, for video conferencing uh, the basic things that I like it most is uh, the sound system the sound system and the speakers are on the uh, you know uh, near to the monitor and it's not in the side not in the front it's just on the uh, top of uh, a keyboard and uh, here it is it's, it's, it's very very stylish it's, it's on my side I think this is stylist one on HP brand and uh, here is the power button here is the touchpad touchpad is quite smooth and there is a two capacity button as well and the keyboard is not that great but uh, portable and uh, basically we, we should not use this keyboard as often because uh, uh, often used keyboard are damaged very quickly and if you damaged it it will cost you more than 2000 taka in Bangladeshi taka uh, to you know recover it as well here is uh, one of the interesting thing uh, first of all there is the Core i3 processor Yes, there it is. There's a Core i3 processor, and here it is. Uh, the fingerprinting uh, security method, where uh, uh, you, you should not, uh, you know, make any password or give any password to there. You just uh, uh, flip in there, and uh, that will be it for you to uh, preventing your computer to uh, use by the unauthorized person. So here is a finger. Uh, you will find uh, no marks, uh, finger marks here. I bought it in the last week, uh, five or six days earlier, so it's quite a bit late to get a review. Uh, so yeah, yes, and uh, uh, the model number is uh, ProBook uh, 450. Here it is, 450. You can see, and the LED monitor is, uh, is sorry, LED monitor is uh, quite good uh, to watch, and uh, this twisted things is also very good. Here is the ProBook uh, logo and 
in terms of hardware is concerned there is nothing left so that's it guys this is the hardware part of the uh, HP ProBook uh, 450 with Core i3 processor it has got uh, uh, 4 GB of RAM and uh, clock rate is 2.5 gigahertz and it also have 500 GB a micro SD uh, sorry a HDD card hard disk drive and uh, it, it has uh, HD graphics which enables it to play a good resolution of pictures for the movies and uh, songs as well so I think it's very affordable and in Bangladeshi Taka it cost only 43,000 and 500 taka so that's it guys this is uh, uh, my review of the hardware of the HP Pro book the next time I will see you and uh, I will uh, give an uh, software review as well so thank you